The world is full of the very rare and unusual, from our own planet Earth to the very farest reaches of the cosmos. Whether natural discoveries are being made or laboratory experiments are being carried out successfully, scientific innovation changes and evolves from day to day, leaving us in a constant state of wonder and awe. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over recent discoveries that came about as a result of this innovation. World's first documented case of Siamese grey whales found in Mexico. In 2014, a pair of grey whales were found, conjoined, and unfortunately deceased, washed up on the shore in Mexico. Whilst a devastating discovery, it was the first time conjoined grey whales had been spotted. It was in Mexico's Laguna Ojo de Libre, otherwise known as Scammon's Lagoon, that the infant whales, or calves, were found by scientists. It is believed that the calves were miscarried. Other whale species, fin, say, and minke, are known to have had conjoined calves previously, though this is the first published documentation of grey whales sharing this experience, even if not past their birth. The average newborn grey whale would be expected to reach between 12 to 16 feet in length upon birth, whereas the conjoined grey whales in question measured a tiny 7 feet in comparison. Researcher Elisa Schulman Janiger from the American Cetacean Society identified several areas in which the whale twins were incredibly underdeveloped and called into question the health of the mother. The carcass of the conjoined grey whale twins was taken for research purposes in order to gain a greater understanding of both the species and the condition of their birth. In light of this tragedy, it is hoped that the research gathered and the body of the whales will help a development in science, possibly helping future grey whales and aiding the continued advancement in our understanding. Arctic walrus takes a nap on an iceberg, wakes up in Ireland. Our next story features an unexpected visitor on the coast of Ireland. Murrin Houlihan and her father were taking a walk along Glanleam Beach on Valentia Island on March 14th when they spotted what they assumed was a seal. It was only once they noticed the tusks that they realised they were looking at a young male walrus. As puzzled as they were to see a walrus on the coast of Ireland, they explained that the animal seemed equally shocked with its present location. Kevin Flannery, marine biologist and director of the Dingle Ocean World Aquarium, explained that the walrus likely fell asleep on a piece of an iceberg off the Greenland ice sheet and drifted off across the ocean. When the walrus woke up from its nap in the middle of the sea and did not recognise its surroundings, it attempted to swim home but unfortunately went in the wrong direction. Flannery noticed that the walrus appeared to have little body fat, suggesting that he might have had to swim for hundreds of miles before finally finding land. Flannery told the Irish Times that it is very unusual to spot a walrus in their part of the world. While there have been previously reported sightings in the towns of Shannon and Mayo in the late 1980s and 90s, this has been the first confirmed sighting since October 1930. The young walrus is not the only animal to wander so far from home. In 2019, a polar bear was found roaming the suburbs of Siberia, Russia, over 300 miles from home. In both of these instances, it calls to question how many more sightings of this kind will happen with the rapid melting of the Greenland ice sheet, causing several species to travel hundreds of miles to find food. Monstrous new cousin of T. rex with super hearing unearthed in Argentina Findings published in April of 2020 detail a paleontological breakthrough, the discovery of an 80-million-year-old dinosaur skull preserved entirely intact. In Argentina, a new dinosaur species, likened to the T-Rex, has been discovered. Though the new and improved model seems to be a whole lot more bizarre, sporting large claws and a skull rife with horns, bumps and deep-seated crests. In an attempt to remove any misguided notion that this is a cute creature, it has been named Lucalan aliocranianus, a linguistically mismatched name creating a patchwork statement of the one who causes fear from indigenous Mapuche languages and Latin. 
This monstrous creature appears to have spanned 16 feet, and its other characteristics certainly paint a terrifying picture. From the sharp teeth to the large jaws, this dinosaur is built to scare prey. Perhaps its most distinctive trait, however, is its hearing. A powerful nose and what is being described as a unique sinus pocket was the perfect combination for hunting prey. According to Federico Giannaccini, the lead author of the research documented in the Journal of Vertebrae Paleontology, this heightened hearing and smell would have given the dinosaur great capabilities as a predator. This predator is said to have lived around Africa, India, Antarctica, Australia, and South America, with the accidental discovery of this dino taking place in Argentino's Bajo de la Carpa formation. The hearing ability on this dinosaur challenges previous conceptions, giving us more information than we previously had and presents plenty of new opportunities for further research. Colima Woolly Mammoth Before modern-day humans or Homo sapiens came a series of archaic humans of the same genus. They first spread throughout Afro-Eurasia during the earlier Pleistocene era commonly known as the Ice Age. Later, in this same era, began the spread of early modern humans throughout the rest of the continents. It is during this late Pleistocene era that the final discovery on our list originated. In 2007, in a gold mine in the Kolyma Mountains in northeastern Siberia, a nearly complete mummified woolly rhinoceros was discovered frozen on the southern stretch of the Kolyma River. The animal was found to be female and believed to have fallen in the icy river at three or four years of age. The animal, which was dated using a rib fragment and a method of a radiocarbon dating method called accelerator mass spectrometry, was found to be an impressive 39,000 years old. The mummified remains were incredibly well kept, boasting a nearly complete left side, including a thick, grey skin, covered in brown fur across its still intact face and complete left ear. The creature's skull was found to be whole with its jaw still attached, along with the two horns atop its snout, which give the creature an appearance reminiscent to that of the modern-day rhinoceros. Both fore and hind legs remained attached, as well as its brown fur-covered tail. Based on its sheer size, archaeologists estimate the rhinoceros to have weighed a ton and a half at the time of its passing. Most of the animal's internal organs were lost to time, though its intestines and stomach, along with its contents, remain, giving archaeologists a glimpse into the mega-herbivore's diet. Through pollen and spore analysis of these contents, scientists concluded the rhinos lived mostly from grasses and sagebrush, commonly found in the Siberia tundra. Although the spread of early humans across the planet and into their natural habitat was originally thought to be the cause of the species' demise, Scientists now theorize that this megafauna, whose DNA revealed genetic mutations catered to cold weather adaptation, ultimately succumbed to a drastic change in climate when temperatures rose too high for the Ice Age species to tolerate. But what do you make of these recent amazing discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.